Hey guys, Jocelyn here with Fantasia Elegance. I wanted in this video to show you three different styles of wrapping briolette beads to add on to different projects or to just use by themselves uh, to create a piece of jewelry. I will be using a mix of pear and heart briolettes in this video, but the styles I'm showing you should work on any type as long as it is top drilled side to side. I'm going to be starting with the simplest style here. Uh, as you can see, it's just a very simple through with a little wrapped loop on top. Then we'll be moving on to the wrapped top design here. And finally, I'll be showing you how to make this kind of decorative little uh, loopy swirl design. I will leave a comment below with the timestamps for the different styles, so that if you want to jump to a specific one, you can do that. Just check the comments section below. So for our first style, that very simple little wrapped loop on top, I will be using kind of a, I think it's a 14 by 10 millimeter diameter pear-shaped briolette. I'll also be using some 26 gauge round wire. I like to use basically the thickest gauge of wire that will comfortably go through the drilled hole in my stone, so you may need to adjust your wire sizes accordingly. I just like to go with whatever's the thickest that will fit to make it as sturdy as possible. But for me, that is going to be 26 gauge. For this style, we don't need very much wire because it's pretty simple. I'm just going to measure off about a 3 inch piece here. That should give us enough to do our wrappings that we need. Um, for those of you in metric, that's about 7.5 centimeters. If you're using a much larger briolette, of course, you might want to size your wire up a little bit. So we'll just snip that off right there. So very simply, I'm going to insert this through my stone. I'm going to have it kind of offset so that more of the length is on one side than the other. If you want to think of dividing this wire into thirds, you can have your stone on the first third of it. Then I'm just going to start bending these wires up on either side of the stone. And I'm going to use my chain nose pliers to tighten those ends on down so that they are now touching the top of the stone, just like that. I'm going to take the longer of the two wires right at the center top of the stone, right at that point there. I'm just going to bend it straight up so that it's going in a straight line up with the center of our stone. With this other shorter tail, I'm just going to bend it down slightly so it's going at a 90 degree angle with our top wire. And then I'm going to wrap this one around the longer wire tail a couple times. You might find it handy to have two pairs of chain nose pliers to do this so that you can hold it with one pair and then start wrapping with the other one. I'm just going to put in at least two nice, small, tight little wraps here right next to each other. And you can use your chain nose pliers to tighten those down, make sure everything is staying nice and secure for you. Once you've got at least two wraps in to secure it, I'm just going to trim it with my flush cutters very close there to the longer tail, and then push it down so there's no loose end to secure that in place. So we finished off one of our tails. At this point you want to decide if your little wrapped loop on top is going to be parallel with the stone or perpendicular to the stone. That will depend on how you want to hang it. For this piece here where I hung one inside of this decorative frame, which I have done a tutorial on this style by the way if you want to check my channel for that. For this one, because I wanted to hang it through a loop coming off of my frame, I wanted it to hang, you know, facing, so I made the loop running um, perpendicular with the stone. Totally up to you what you want to do. For the purposes of this video, I'm just going to go ahead and make it perpendicular with the stone. So to do that, I'm going to turn the stone on its side here. I'm just going to put a slight offset bend with our longer tail. I'm going to go right above that bend with my round nose pliers to put a small wrapped loop in. Just going all the way around like that so that we've got a little wrapped loop. That's what it looks like from the front and again from the side. And then at this point, if you're going to be sliding this onto something, you would go ahead and insert through this loop whatever you're going to be hanging this off of. If you're using something like a jump ring that you can open and close easily, it doesn't matter. You can go ahead and wrap this closed but just a heads up, otherwise you will want to go ahead and slide this onto whatever you're attaching it to. For the purposes of this video though, I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this closed. And a little tip here, when you are crossing this tail over, 
you want to make sure that when you start wrapping it around, this longer end that you're wrapping will butt up nicely against that other end that we wrapped earlier. So you'll just want to kind of plan ahead if you're going to wrap this clockwise or counterclockwise around our little um, base here so that you wind up with the ends meeting smoothly with each other. But I'm just going to pinch that on down again using one pair of chain nose pliers to hold it and the second pair to start wrapping. Again you want to get at least two wraps around here to make sure it's going to be secured and not going anywhere. I'm just going to wrap this around until it's close to meeting that other wrap that we formed earlier. Once I'm close to that point I'll snip it off again with my flush cutters very close. And then using your chain nose pliers you want to smush that on down so that there's no loose end that can catch on anything. Alright, and if you planned it out for your two wraps to meet each other properly, it should be pretty seamless to where you can't really tell where they're meeting from a distance. And then finally you can just make sure everything is lying straight and in line with the stone how you want it to. Just doing a few little finishing touches and tweaks. Alright, so that is our very simple, very quick and easy way of hanging a briolette off of something. Let's go ahead and move on to the slightly more decorative wrapped top design, like this one here. So I'm going to pull out another stone to do that with. This time I'm going to be using about a 10 by 10 millimeter heart-shaped stone cut. Again, any of these styles should work on anything. This is just what I'm personally doing. I'm going to be using the same 26 gauge round soft wire because I believe this does fit through my stone. Let me just double check. It does indeed. We're going to need a longer piece for this style. So I'm going to wind a fair bit off my spool here. I like to cut about 9 inches for this style. Again, if you're using a larger stone, you might need more wire than that. Uh, for those of you in metric, that's going to be about 23 centimeters. For this one, very similarly, we're going to start by threading it onto our stone, and we're going to have the distance largely offset. So I'm just going to have about an inch and a half on this side here, and then the entire rest of our wire on the other side. Just like before, I'm going to bend these two tails up and over the stone, and use my chain nose pliers to tighten that on down. This time though I'm going to take the shorter of the two wire ends and bend it straight up, starting at the center top of the stone, bending it straight up, just like that. And then I'm going to take this longer wire and start wrapping it around the shorter wire, just at the very tippy top of the stone. I'm going to wrap it around once until it comes back on itself. And now I'm going to start wrapping this longer wire going down over the stone. So this next wrap I'm going to try and place below the first wrap that we made. And you can use your chain nose pliers to tighten that up if you need to. And I'm just going to continue wrapping it around. You might find it helpful to just hold the wire still and turn the stone around. I'm just going to keep placing wraps below the one I just formed wrapping it around. Again, you might need to help get this started with your chain nose pliers. So I'm basically just spiraling this around, circling around the stone, placing each wrap directly below the previous one. Okay, so we're just going to keep doing that. We're going to start going over the tip top of the stone, just keep wrapping, that's what we want. Alright, and it's really up to you how far down this stone you want to go with our wrap. I usually like to go until the wrap is about a quarter of an inch high or so. Totally personal preference though, it's up to you. Um, you do want to make sure you have at least like two inches left on your tail, because what we're going to do is wrap this back upwards again to finish it off. So let me place like two more wraps here 
going over our stone. And then I will take this back up to finish it off. Alright, so go ahead and pick which side you want to be the front of your stone. We want to kind of have this decorative little wrap going over top of what we've already wrapped, going back up towards the top of our little wrap here. So on the front, again, I've got about this two inch tail. What I'm going to do is start wrapping this back up, going over all those wraps we've already done. Okay, so going back up, wrapping it around, so that it just kind of swoops back up going over top of what we've already done there. And then I'm going to wrap this a couple times around the very top here, just going over that upper tail. And you might find it handy to use your chain nose pliers to tighten that down. So I'm going to put one or two, at least two, good wraps in there to secure that. All right. And you can snip it off with your flush cutters and tighten that end on down. And now all we need to do is put a little wrapped loop in the top so that we can connect this to whatever you're using, whether it's an ear wire or if you're putting this on a pendant or whatever. All right, so for this one, I'm going to make the wrap loop on top run parallel with the face of the stone. So I'm just going to offset this tail slightly with a little space below where I'm offsetting it so that we have room for those wraps that we're going to place. I'm going to pull out my chain nose pliers, or my round nose pliers, excuse me. I'm going to wrap this around in a little wrap loop all the way around. And then we will wrap this closed. And again, at this point, you could slide on, if you're using an ear wire, you could slide it on to here before you wrap it closed. But for the purposes of this, I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this closed for us. All right, so again, using two pairs of chain nose pliers, I'm just going to wrap this tail on around several times. And I am going to go over top of that wrap we made earlier with the ending wire from this wrapping portion. I'm just going to go over top of that to help create this more conical shape as it's coming in. So I'm just going to go over top of that once and then we'll find a place to hide our little wire tail. And snipping off with our flush cutters and then just pushing that tail down in that little space there so that it is hidden. Alright, so that is our slightly more decorative wrapped top briolette design there. And like I showed earlier, you can very easily turn these into a very simple and cute pair of earrings just by throwing some ear wires on there. I do like this style with the antiqued wire finish as well because it kind of brings out the texture that you have there um, with your wrapping. So let's go ahead and move on to the third style. Again, for the last one, we're going to be making this slightly more decorative little motif on top of our briolette. For this one, I will be using a slightly larger briolette, which is glass. I have been using uh, quartz up till this point. Let me just get those measurements for you real quick in case you're following along. This one's about 15 centimeters high by about 12 centimeters wide, or not centimeters, millimeters, I apologize. This one does have a larger drilled hole, so I'm going to be using 22 gauge wire. It is pretty rare to find a briolette with a hole that large, so you might need to use 24 or even 26 gauge, just bear that in mind. I'm just going to unwind a little length of this here and straighten it out for us. And then I'm going to cut a four and a half inch length. And just inserting this into our stone, I'm going to go until I have about an inch and a half on this side. Again, you might be noticing a trend. We're doing all of them offset here. And as before, just bending these ends up slightly, pushing them so they cross over the stone, touching the stone nicely for us. I'm going to take this shorter wire and have it go straight up. The longer one I'm going to take at a right angle to that shorter one. And then I'm going to go ahead and make the little wrap loop on top with our shorter wire. So I'm just going to bend forward slightly, a little distance up from the tippy top of the stone. I'm going to pull out my 
round nose pliers and wrap that all the way around to make a little loop. And then I'm going to close that loop and wrap it shut using two pairs of chain nose pliers. I'm just going to start wrapping this tail around nice and tight here so that you get at least two nice wraps in there like that. I think I'll do three. There we go. And just snipping that off close to our base and then we'll push the end down with our chain nose pliers. Alright, so now we're going to put the fun part in, that little decorative swirl that we had going on. So I'm going to bring this longer tail, it's coming from the back, I'm going to bring it over top, coming around the front here. And I'm going to wrap this once first around that upper shank portion just to secure it. Alright, so again coming from the back, going over top towards the front, I'm going to loop it down over top of the stone, and now we're going to put a little loop in right over top on the front of our stone here. So let me use my round nose pliers to do that. I'm just going to wrap this all the way around, and put in a little loop going over the face of our pear-shaped briolette here. And you can close that loop down a little bit with your chain nose pliers, just refining the shape here for us. So we have something like that. Alright. And then I'm going to loop this again, going below that little loop that we made. I'm just going to kind of swoop it around in a little teardrop shape, just like that. Might expand that a little bit more. And then I'll bring this still going over the front. I'm just swooping it around over top, taking it back over top off towards the left now. And then at this point we will wrap our remaining tail around this portion right here where we already wrapped to secure. So let me just bend that tail off at a 90 degree angle. I'm going to secure it with one pair of chain nose pliers here. And then I will just wrap the tail around. Again, going over top of that wrap we already made. And you want to wrap this at least two times to secure it. All right. And then on the back, I'm going to go really close to our little loop right here, snip that off with my flush cutters, and push the end down to secure it. Alright, so that is our little decorative wrapped loop style briolette. And again, this slightly fancier one, I like to put on slightly more intricate, fancier uh, pieces like this bar style necklace I have here. So I really hope you guys found this short little tutorial on different ways of wrapping briolettes to be helpful and easy to follow. Please leave me a comment below if you had any questions along the way. And of course if you have ideas for future video tutorials you might like to see, I am always open to seeing comments about that as well. If you liked this video, please make sure you hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing and clicking the bell so you are notified when I post more videos. I do have lots more coming out in the near future here. I also have lots of project tutorials showing different ways that you can use something like this to turn it into a full piece of jewelry, so check that out on my channel if you're curious. So thank you guys so very much for watching, I hope you're staying safe and well, and I will catch you in the next video. Happy crafting!